Natasha Denona is having another leak and Vanessa Myricks is releasing probably the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Hello and welcome back to this week's new makeup releases where we chat about the new makeup that's been released, announced in sneak peek throughout the week and I just let you know how I feel about these things, let you know what's coming in the beauty industry and also let you know whether or not I picked up these things. I did film this look and it will be live, Ooh, I actually don't know, but I did use a new palette and we'll talk about that as well, something that actually released, well actually yesterday if you're watching this but before we get into the video i just wanted to let you know that i do have my member exclusive zoom call for the members on my channel on tier 2 and tier 3 and that is going to be tonight 5 p.m. Central Time. I'm doing a little bit of an after work. I actually do have some plans with my husband. So I usually do it at six, but we're gonna do it at five because I'm hoping to be able to hang out with my husband, maybe go to dinner, maybe go to like something, something. You know, after a full week of working and me being gone last weekend, we do wanna be hanging out a little bit. So if you're a part of my membership, the information is gonna be on the community tab. If you wanna join in, you can always join my membership at any time. And when you join my membership on tier one, you'll get access to all of my exclusive member exclusive tutorials. You also also get member exclusive emojis that you can use down in the chat and when you're joining tier 2 or tier 3 you will be getting the member exclusive zoom calls that I have once a month plus of course the tutorials and the emojis and I also have a member exclusive Instagram group chat where we chat a bit about what's going on in our lives new makeup that's coming and stuff like that you can always read more about that either in the link that's in the description box or by clicking the button that's next to the subscribe button down below you can read up all about what that's about let me scoochie scoochie to the side and like I said, I am using a new palette. This is the Cradle and Ice palette by Fantasy Cosmetica. This one did release yesterday. You can use a code and get some money off. There are also some single shadows and there are some brushes in this collection. And I did film this look and I'm gonna do another one. There has been so many indie releases that have happened this spring. I'm honestly, I don't wanna say shocked, but I do think I am a little bit overwhelmed. So there is gonna be another one of those like four releases, four looks, and it's coming soon. I don't know exactly when it's coming, but I can tell you right now, I'm really appreciating this palette and I had no problem working with it. The look is stunning. I love it. I love it so much. There also might be some dedicated like bonus videos to collections that are coming out because I have a couple that are coming my way that have not been um, revealed yet and that you actually don't know about as you're watching this that I am extremely excited about. So there might be one, two, three dedicated reviews coming because I am dying to show you these things. I just cannot, cannot wait. But yeah, this one is available now and uh, I will leave, per usual, all the info down in the description box in case you were wondering what brand did she say, where can I find it, when is it released, what was the code again, everything is going to be down in the description box. My links are affiliated and if you do shop through my links or use my affiliate codes, thank you so much for supporting my channel, it really does mean a lot. And remember, you don't have to use my code to get a discount, you can always use somebody else's code, but if a brand does offer a code, try to use somebody's code so you can get some money off. Speaking of that, of like collections that are coming and collections that I want to like do stuff on next week new makeup releases is not going to be on friday it is going to be on sunday and it is because i am going on a launch party for one of those releases that i am dying to show you so i'm hoping to have a bonus video saturday next week so we can see that collection. And if you're going into Friday next week and you're like, where's new makeup releases? It's coming. It's just coming on, uh, it's coming on Sunday instead because I will be traveling back home on Friday, but it's coming. One thing that I will be, and actually, well, I do have, I do have stuff about this. And this is the new collection by Wicked Widow Beauty. This is the Crow collection. This one is one that I do want to do a video on. I just don't know when the collection is coming in because she is sending me this entire collection and I hope it's coming in, fingers crossed, before I'm leaving next week to go to LA because I would really like to do like it just a quick turnaround showing you this collection because I know she's sending me the entire collection. So there's gonna be highlighter, there's gonna be lip products, there's gonna be, um, I think even brushes and of course the beautiful palette. She also gave me a code, my code is Anjeshka, which it is basically everywhere in case you wanna save some money off on a lot of indie brands you can always try and code and jessica check out and see if you can get some money off and i'm saying this now she gave me a code but i am yet to try the brand so if i hate it i will let you know when i try this but if you are interested in this collection it is launching today as you're watching this on friday this i think it is 17th let me just double check 
because I'm fairly sure that it's launching on yeah, it's launching on Friday, May 17th at noon Eastern Standard Time, which is really soon after this video is going live. So if you're interested and you want to get some money off, you can use my code or use somebody else's code, but just know that I am yet to try this one out. So I'm not saying that I know this is amazing because I don't know, but I will say some of my friends really love the formula of Wicked Widow and I am, that's the reason why I really wanted to try it because if they love it and we usually have the same taste, I'm hoping I'll love it too. Usually when it comes to Natasha Denona and her leaks, it's usually that she is sending out because brands when they have a launch uh, of course they have to send out the products early to all the retailers the more retailers you have the more places you have to send you have to send out product photography early either if they want to use their own product photography or if you uh, are providing them with something and sometimes when you upload stuff on websites sometimes the web developer forgets to put it in the testing mode and it just goes live directly on the website and usually a problem for Natasha Nona is that retailers seem to do that for her they're just not being able to keep the embargo this time she did it for herself when her brand uh, all of a sudden had her entire new gold collection up on her website and some people tried to order it and I heard that their orders got cancel because I have a friend that tried to order the collection and her order got canceled and she got refunded so they clearly was not ready to release this collection or even announce it Natasha Denona as I'm filming this has not even sneak peeked that there's a new collection coming out so do with that information what you will but I think all of us have been fairly we have been aware that she was like redoing the gold palette I think that Natasha Denona has redone all of her palettes that was loved that was not in the midi form like in the midi format to her midi format she just streamlined her entire collection and her gold palette was extremely well loved i never owned it and now when i look at this new one there seems to be a highlighter palette as well and some kind of a gloss the palette just seems a little bland now and i will say i'm a little sad to see that the because the gold palette was a neutral palette with some pops of lime green duochrome and teal colors and she just entirely removed that from this palette and i do feel like that's a little bit of a shame because now it's just another neutral palette and with that being said I've not seen anyone try the palette. I don't own it myself. And this is the only picture that I've seen of it. Maybe there actually is some lime green hidden in this. Maybe that's how she's bringing it back. I have heard that some of the shades are uh, existing shades and some shades are new shades. Like I said, she's trying to streamline her collection. I'm guessing she's bringing some shades back. I do wish though, I do wish though that she would have kept this gold green teal thing going on with the palette because I feel like that is what made the gold palette so unique it had a mustard it had a teal it had a lime green duochrome topper and looking at this palette I don't see any of that I don't see any of that and it makes me a little sad that it's just a sand colored nude palette again judging from this one I might be extremely wrong I will be purchasing this one. I'm very excited about the highlighter palette. I love that it is in that small format because I usually don't do face palettes, but Natasha Denona makes them smaller in a way that makes them more covetable for me and easier for me to use. So I'm excited about that one. I'll probably buy the whole thing. I'll buy the whole thing. Again, you can use my code and get some money off when you're shopping at Natasha Denona. When this is being released, I'll review it. And we'll just see whether or not this is like worth picking up. If it's just another nude palette, because I I gotta say, when I saw this, I was like, some people are gonna love this, but it's not like Natasha Denona doesn't have neutral palettes. And I kind of think, and this is just me being like, rest in peace, I think she killed the concept of just having an interesting neutral palette with pops of greens and mustards, and I don't see that here, and I think that's a shame. And I think seeing this, seeing this makes me think, is the innovative editorial color combinations of Natasha Denona that made me love the Natasha Denona brand the red and the pink the teal with the lime with the mustard like is that gone like do we not have that anymore and I understand what sells but I also think sometimes I don't know sometimes you gotta you gotta be a little unique you gotta be a little unique for people to like be interested in your brand maybe not this unique 
Ma'am. Ma'am, what in... What in the 90s clip art disaster is this? This is, and I've seen a lot of really horrendous stuff reviewing indie makeup when that industry started booming back in like whatever that was. What is this? Vanessa Myricks, I love you. And I love how unique and groundbreaking and how you refuse to follow the crowd. I love that about the brand. But ma'am, you have got to reel it in. What is this? This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I think this is available at Sephora. This is the Love is Love all over face palette. And I love the theming of Love is Love, but what is this? <laughs> this is supposed to be like highlighters. There's like a rainbow. <sighs> I don't need to tell you why this is ugly. I don't need to tell you. Like, we're friends. We're like lover of makeups. We've seen a lot of hideous things come and go. We've seen some really Claire-esque, like, decision-making in, in this, like, in this vein. But this is truly something else. The front, the color choices, the, 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 the choice of the pans and how they're all... It's so bad. It's so bad. I really... Can you imagine how many people looked at this and approved this? Did nobody raise their hands and just be like, should we maybe go another round? Because like, sometimes I say like, oh, it looks like the intern made it, but like, this looks like someone's toddler made it. This looks like in-house daycare left drawing and the design team was behind and they're like, we'll use this one. Because I truly, really, truly cannot grasp how they thought that anyone would look at this and be like, oh, that's cool, that's funky. It's not cool, it's not funky. Also, why am I using the word funky? I'm 40, not 75. I don't know what to say about this. $65, not even if you paid me $65. Firm no. <laughs> Hard pass. Mm. I had to go get something to drink because my throat was very itchy. Mm. So I had to go get something to drink. Let's talk about another indie release that I think will be revealed tomorrow. And that is the new upcoming collection from Nomad. It's Nomad Air and they're doing a second collection. In the first collection, I feel like they did a six pan that had some neutrals, I think I gave it away, if I'm not totally mistaken. And in this, you can see they're doing, well, you can see here, they're doing three different things. I have these. I will say I have not had time to do a dedicated video about this for you to see tomorrow, unfortunately. I will try and scramble and see if I can do like a reel swatching them or something. I'll do my very best, but yeah, brands have really been going bananas and we're all doing the best we can to catch up. But if you like smaller palettes, if you like neutrals with a twist, if you like destination-based palettes, you will really like these. They looked really cute. And I think a lot of people will look at this and be like, this is exactly what I want for traveling. And I, like I said, I'm traveling next week. And I was actually thinking that I might bring one of these. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm, think I'm thinking about how I can like, Make it good for you. Wow. I sound like I, I, I sound like a bad boyfriend. I'm just trying to figure out how I can make valuable, interesting, and actually helpful content that showcases stuff and makes it easier for you to choose which is that one thing for me. Because I'm not expecting, and I really don't think either, that anyone should be buying everything that's coming out. That makes no sense. But I wanna be able to help you to find the thing that's perfect for you, or maybe help you realize that you didn't need any of it. So I will probably do some kind of a swatch picture or a reel or something. I'll try and scramble and get something together and have it up when they're revealing it, but I will not be able to get a dedicated YouTube video up because I just, I just really do not have time either today or tomorrow because I have to be doing other things and preparing. So I will say it looks really cute and just looking at it, it looks like the same beautiful Nomad formula that they usually have. You know, when you've been reviewing eyeshadow for nine years, you can just look at something and you're like, 
I know what I'm looking at, but of course I will get back to you and give you a proper review. I'm able to try all of them and just tell you how I feel about them, but be on the lookout. Tomorrow is the reveal and per usual, there's probably going to be a bunch of YouTube videos by other creators in case you are interested in checking it out. I just, unfortunately, I will not have one. One thing that I am slightly intrigued by, but also I'm like, I really do not need to be trying another. I feel like at this point, I almost will be able to do like a best and worst of like mainstream releases because I've been trying so many things that have been released at Ulta and Sephora this year. And I've been trying to be like, again, helpful in letting you know which ones are actually worth picking up. But I don't know if I want to try these new ones from Say. This is a liquid um, bronzer or is it a sculpt? I think it's a bronzer based on the color. Yeah, it is a dew bronze soft focus effortless. Oh my God, they are having problems. <laughs> They're giving a really long name so then they don't have to trademark it, but you go girl. But this is a lightweight, billable, liquid cream bronzer that blends seamlessly, blah, 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 blah. Dewy finish. And I think maybe I can just watch this one from afar. I will probably swatch it in the Sephora when I have the opportunity, but if it doesn't dry down, like I already know I won't like it. Like I already know I won't like it if it doesn't dry down because if it stays a little tacky dewy, I don't like stuff like that on my oily combo skin, especially not living in a humid climate. It just really isn't my jive. I think the colors look really beautiful, but I'm just like, I just don't think that this release will be for me. And I'm thinking the exact same. I actually had someone today ask me if I was going to try the new House Labs Color Fuse Longwear Hydrating Glassy glassy lip and cheek blush bomb stick again the name is giving we don't want to trademark this and this is the one remember last week i showed you something with goji berry and i was like oh i think they're going to release a primer apparently it's a blush with goji berry I don't know, maybe we need that. What do I know? This is launching on the 20th. It's going to be $34 for a glassy bomb stick. I mean, I usually don't like stuff that either has glassy or balm and the two of them together in a blush stick. I mean, it can be used on your lips too, but like, I don't need a stick like this and just using it on my lips. If I would buy something like this, that it's marketed as being double functioning, I almost always want them to either work on the lips and the cheeks, like the jelly blushes from Milk. Those work for me on the cheeks, on the lips. I love them both ways, but this glassy balm, and I mean, you can see them on the model. I'm not gonna like these. Same here, I will swatch them. And some things do dry down, even they give that, that some things are just really well formulated in a way that they look really dewy on the skin, but they don't feel sticky. I just don't think that this is gonna be that if it's for lips as well. So I, I just don't think I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, and I try to be like honest with myself. I myself, hate when I see people buy stuff to review that they already know they're not going to like and they buy it to review it just to rage bait you into clicking on a video where they're like buying something that they already know they're going to hate. I don't want to waste my money buying stuff that I don't, I'm, I already know I'm not going to like. If I end up buying something that I don't like, I bought it because I thought I was going to like it and then I ended up not. So just looking at some of these things, I'm like, this isn't meant for me. So maybe I'll leave this for the dry skin girlies because I don't think I'm going to like this. See, this is the difference because this is from Lawless and they are releasing a cream blush. I will say I am so over cream blushes. I'm so over cream blushes. I really thought it was like refreshing to see those, even though they're not my absolute favorite, but the ones from Rare Beauty, the powder, like I'm so over cream blushes. Everybody's releasing cream blushes, but these sound more up my alley. This is a cream blush that is a skin-like finish. And it says that it's uh, it has good playtime before drying down to a stay put soft diffused finish. That's what I need that's the cream blush that I need. And I like the colors as well. So it is a Starburst Angel Rosebud Gumdrop Valentine Cherry Pie. And I really like Cherry Pie, the bright cherry pink. It's the one at the bottom. And I like the first one, the soft peach. I, I'm excited about this. I usually do get PR from Lawless. So I'll try these if I get them in PR. And I will say if I don't get them in PR, I will still end up buying at least one of them because this sounds like a cream blush that I would like. And I like the color selection. 
And these are gonna be, oh, they, doesn't, they don't say a price here, but they're coming May 24th to Sephora. There is also something coming from Fenty Skin. And this is exciting because this is a makeup skincare hybrid, but it is coming under the Fenty Skin brand and not under the Fenty Beauty brand. And this is a Hydra Visor Hues Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum Mineral SPF. So this is a tinted SPF, but it's been released under the skincare brand. It is $42, which is not, I mean, it's not affordable, but it's also not high-end, high-end. So it is an SPF in 10 flexible shades. It's launching on the 22nd. And I think that this is interesting. It also says that it is fragrance-free, and I'm guessing that it is a tinted moisturizer. Yeah, it's gonna be a sheer cover. If, if, Fenty's, if Fenty's only coming out with 10 shades, we all know it's gonna be, first of all, nicely <laughs> nicely divided between different skin tones and it's also going to be very sheer if they're giving us only 10 shades i don't think this is going to be for me and i'm basing that on the swatches that i've seen that looks very dewy and again i love a tinted moisturizer or i love a tinted spf but the ones that i love they do dry down i can't do the glassy glowy greasy i'll no no, we're not. If I'm going to do that in my SPF, I need no color because I'm going to be by the pool and I'm not wearing makeup to the pool. That's, I know, I don't want that. I don't need that. This is very interesting. I had no, did you know that there's going to be a series on Amazon Prime about Legally Blonde, like the Legally Blonde series? I find that very fascinating. And I also wonder, it says it's the prequel series, but like, is Race Witherspoon going to play her? L again, but younger? How is that gonna work out? And I'm not saying that to be shady, but I'm like, is that gonna be believable? I don't, I'm interested to see it though. And in the like reveal video or in the like teaser for it, she is applying a apparently Charlotte Tilbury lipstick uh, with a Charlotte Tilbury mirror. And people are saying that this is a legally blonde Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, or maybe it's even a Reese Witherspoon lipstick. They're doing some kind of a collab. It seems to be a white based peach which is not what i go for it's very legally blonde i get that and for someone with the colorings of reese with the spoon is probably really beautiful but that shade if it looks like it did in the promo like the picture you're seeing here white based peach i'm staying far away from that. UV's Place is coming up with some liquid lipsticks and they say that this is the brand new matte liquid lipsticks and I'm wondering, is this the same formula or is it new colors? I have no idea. 12 shades are on trend and have a super soft velvety feel. Okay, velvety feel. So maybe these are like... Yeah, this gives you a flawless matte finish, velvety feel. Goodbye to dryness and cracked lips. I'm wondering if this is a mousse... Uh, now I'm curious. Do I need to pick this up? Maybe. I love Juvia's Place. I think they make really, really good products. And some of these colors do be looking really cute. I mean, there is a... It, I, either it is a black and brown or it's a straight up black. But there's a black one. But let's call it black. There's some reds. There's an orange. There's a berry. A couple of nudes. I really love the mid-tone browns. Those are just so flattering on so many skin tones. And I'm just like... Do I need to pick one up? What do we think about the formula? I haven't seen anyone use them. This formula is seriously next level. We've been working on it for a whopping two years and let me tell you, we're obsessed. Okay, well, you, I'm sold. I'll, I'll pick one up. I'll pick one or two up. I'll try it. I will let you know. I actually have, let me talk about some other thing. I actually have this new foundation from, where do I have it? Hello, oh, here. I have this new foundation from Wet n Wild. It's downstairs. I think we need to do another like drugstore makeup thing because this is the Wet n Wild Niacinamide Skin Tint. This says that it is a sheer to medium buildable skin tint with 5% niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and peony extract that delivers not smooth, but smoothing because of the ingredients, I guess. Natural perfection. Blurs imperfections, finishes with a soft satin glow, and perfects while concealing redness and blemishes. I am intrigued. I mean, clearly, clearly I'm intrigued. I bought it and they delivered it to me so quickly. Uh, I was so impressed. So, and I also have that new mascara from, I pre-bought it from, was it L'Oreal? I don't know, but they, that got delivered too. I'm just thinking, do we need another like drugstore video? Because I had one recently with like 
drugstore and affordable things. Let me know if there's anything else from the drugstore that you've been dying for me to try. There is actually something that is really cool from the drugstore and that is this new uh, brow lamination brow gel by e.l.f. I really want to try this one. Maybe I should buy that too then. Let's just try some more drugstore thing. It's uh, $8. It is available right now. You know I love a good, like I still love not necessarily laminating my brows, but I have a lot of brow hairs, but they just lay down. So I love doing, I love how I do my brows. I know not everybody loves it, but that's perfectly fine. I won't force you to have the same brows as me, but I'm intrigued to try this out because for $8, if it's a good product, we kind of need to find out, right? CoverGirl also did repackage their um, in Clean Invisible Foundation, and they have also expanded the shade range. This is only $8. And I'm feeling like we're in the, like the past couple of years, two, three years, we've really been able to see what drugstore brands are continuing to be more affordable. CoverGirl, I don't, I want to say e.l.f., but e.l.f. also has some more expensive things, but they're still in the grand scheme of things. Elf, Wet n Wild, CoverGirl, and then we have some brands like Maybelline and L'Oreal. They're just starting to become a little bit more, even more expensive than they used to be. And it's just very fascinating to see because $8 for the foundation, even after they reformulated and expanded the shade range. So now they have doubled the shade range. They used to have only 12 shades, but now it's 24 and I'm excited for them. I don't think I'm going to be trying this one out because I did try the other. I mean, I can't try everything. I mean, I can try, but I don't think I can try everything, but I'm excited to see them come out with a foundation and it's still just $8. I feel like that's pretty decent. And here we have the powder blushes. This is the baked uh, blushes by Kosas. We did talk about these a while back. They did, I think they leaked at some kind of event or something, but now they are coming and they're $29 and they're coming May 21st. And I will say, just looking at the shades, I feel like these shades look very hourglass. And I, I mean, they're round instead of the square, but they feel very hourglass. And I don't say that in like a bad way. I say that in a way that like, the shade range, the way that it looks, it just looks a little uninspiring. I don't look at any of these and think, oh, I'm dying to try that one. Maybe it's the marble. Maybe it's, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't look at any of these and think I'm dying to try that shade. Maybe I'll feel differently when I see them in store. Maybe this is one of those things I need to see in store. Oh, I should have brought this one up. Okay. I feel a little stupid because I do have this one downstairs, but I haven't even opened the package. This is from Nabla. Again, powder blushes. I love me a good powder blush. This is the matte powder blush with a smoothing effect from Nabla. I really, again, this color range, maybe it's something with the packaging. The red looks beautiful. The warm brown looks delicious. I will say it's really hard to impress me with a matte blush formula because I do love a little sheen in it, but I think it looks pretty and we have not seen a blush formula from Nabla since they did that like gel bomb thing, which wasn't amazing. And then they did those shimmery blushes way back and those were amazing. So I'm excited to see them release some blushes. I think the packaging looks beautiful. The blushes, the colors just on this picture, I will let you know once I unpack them. I'll put them on my Instagram stories. They look really pretty. I wish they had a little sheen to them, but I realized that like not everybody wants a sheeny chic. It's just me. I love that glass cheek every day, all day. Melt has released a melted liquid eyeshadow and eyeshadow bases. I'm very intrigued by these. I saw my friend Linda got these in PR. So I'm waiting to hear about her review if she likes them as eyeshadow bases, because if she likes these as eyeshadow bases, I will probably pick one up and try it out myself because I love trying out eyeshadow bases. And still my favorite is the Sigma eyeshadow base stick. I use it in the in the shade Ignite. If you ever look at my description boxes and see what's on my face when I'm doing my makeup, pretty much always use that one because I think it is so, so, so good. This is already available. And yeah, I, I could see myself trying one of these out if she likes them as an eyeshadow base because I will not use them as a liquid eyeshadow. They need to have a little 
grip without being tacky so that I can use them as an eyeshadow base. So I will check in with her and see how she feels about it, but it's exciting to see some kind of a different or like just new category of products from Melt. This one is really intriguing, but apparently this one sold out really quickly. And this is a collab between Tower 28 and Waze uh, Scent Bart's uh, scent. So they did a clear lip gloss with the Scent Bart scent. And I that is a beautiful scent, but that's not the kind of scent I want on my lip products. I don't want anything that's like not food related in my lip glosses because it's all around my mouth. It just makes me feel uncomfortable to put something that smells like flowers or soap or anything like that around my lips. The St. Bart ones is still a tropical one, but it's not fruity enough for me to feel like it's food. So for me, this is a no because I don't want a gloss that smells like fragrance and it's just not my journey. I want something that's food related on my lips. I love when lip products are scented. I just don't want them to be like anything but food scented, but I think it's sold out. So other people were clearly very intrigued by this one. There is also this new thing from Makeup by Mario. This sometimes, okay. Some, and I feel this with a lot of like makeup artist brands. Sometimes they release these really interesting products where you're like, oh, I didn't even know I needed a product for this. This is so exciting. I really like the new um, uh, highlighter. Do I have it here? Oh no, I moved it. Uh, well, I like these as well. There's also like, I'm wearing that one today. One of these like highlighters from Natasha Nona. There's just a different kind of a formula. I also really like that highlighter. The one I was going to say from Vanessa Myricks that is like, it has a color to it. So it's almost like a mix between a blush a highlighter. Like it, it's almost like a multi-use product. But then sometimes like makeup brands will release something like this, like makeup artist brands. This is like a liquid sculpt. It is a soft sculpt multi-use bronzing and shaping serum. And I, I look at it, I'm like, well, it's innovative, but as a mere mortal, as someone who doesn't do my makeup on others, where does this fit into my routine? I look at this and I'm like, okay. And it's a multi-use liquid bronzer that warms the complexion with the sunkissed glow and naturally shapes targeted area with a sheer natural second Sometimes I feel like he names his product in a way that's almost intimidating. Is this a liquid bronzer? Or is this like a step in between? Um, I'm just not 100% sure what I'm looking at. It's all, again, it's one of those things, I kind of almost need to see it in real life and just be like, what are you trying to sell me? Like, is this an in-between step that you only need if you're doing like editorial makeup artisty things? Because I was using, some different kinds of products. When I was freelancing as a makeup artist, my kit looked nothing like my makeup bag. I was not using the same kind of products. I was not using the same kind of techniques, but that doesn't mean that there can't be a bridge in between when you can look at something and be like, oh, that's so innovative. That's so fun. I'm so happy to be using that as a normal consumer. And then sometimes it's things and you're like, that's just a little frightening. That's just a little scary. I think eye gloss is one of those things. It's so cool on picture, but it's not very easy to use on a regular, like I wouldn't use eye gloss going out clubbing. I don't go out clubbing, but like I wouldn't put on eye gloss <laughs> going out clubbing or going out to a bar. But I just, I, I feel like I'm like, I feel like this, I feel like the products that he did, the, the bronze bomb that was sheer and sticky. I didn't like, I, I didn't like that on me at all. I felt like that was an extra step where I'm like, I don't know where this fits in. And it was the same with the bronzer that faded into the highlighter. It just didn't fill a spot in my routine. It just added an extra step that I didn't hundred percent love. And I'm wondering if this will be the same. This is going to be $36. It is it's already launched. I, I want to see it. I want to feel it. I want to be like, how sheer is it? Does this fill a function. Maybe this is a beautiful liquid bronzer if you're doing like a tinted moisturizer or a tinted SPF. I just, I need to know more. I need to feel it. I need to touch it. I just, just seeing the description, I'm like, who is this for? 
I don't know if I'm cool enough for this. NARS has released the uh, light reflecting primer and setting mist. I think this is a really smart part of their collection to expand on because their light reflecting part of NARS has been a very popular like product with them and to release a primer and a setting spray, smart. So it is a light reflecting hydrating primer. It's $42, it's definitely NARS prices. It is a refreshing lightweight primer that uh, enhanced with natural luminous finish sounds great skincare ingredients and then it is the light reflecting makeup setting mist it's a skin enhancing mist that sets hydrates and protects none of these sounds like something that my combo oily skin would love but i think it's a smart release from the brand it's just not for the skin. Cleona Cosmetics has finally revealed their upcoming collection, which is the Fruit Salad Reblended Collection. This is a reimagined version of our original Fruit Salad Collection from 2017, and it contains eight matching pairs of fruit lighters and fruit lacquers. It features an all new blinding and multi purpose highlighter formulas that was designed with all skin tones in mind. And these are colored highlighters with matching nail polishes, and Cleona makes amazing nail polishes and amazing highlighters and I have some of these here that I got at the creator and friends so I need to be able now that we've seen the collection I need to use them so we can see them in action but just swatching them I mean they're stunning Cleonad makes stunning products. Again, you can use a code with Cleonad and get some money off in case you're ordering with them. The code also works on the stained glass collection. And if Cleonad ever has a sale, you usually can stack the code on top of a sale as well. So I think that's really cool too when brands do that and you can get even more money off. These are launching, oh, I think, oh, they're launching next Tuesday, May 21st, 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. They look really cute. They have some more neutral ones, the golden highlighters, and then they have some really nice colorful ones, they have some duochrome ones. It's a really fun collection. We have another one of these serums with a bronzing thing. This one is from Cali Ray. Every brand is gonna release these popular formulas. And I've talked about this in a while ago, like what happened to brand identity. And I think at least Makeup by Mario has that, like his brand identity is that he will be re releasing products that people are like, where does this fit in? And then there are some brands that will just be releasing what's popular. This is a liquid bronzer, acts like a serum, skin loving peptides. It's just a serum for the skin that has a bronzing effect to it. It's coming May 21st, $28. If you didn't own one from before, maybe this one could be for you. But at this point, if you love makeup, haven't we all tried at least one of these? Kylie Cosmetics is also releasing a supple kiss lip glaze. Six shades, I have no idea what this even is. Lip glaze, it's a lip gloss. Is it a lip gloss? Oh, it seems to be like a lip gloss. I'm seeing some swatches, okay. That's cute, it's coming soon. I like the packaging, I think the packaging is really cute. I do think that when Kylie Cosmetics redid her brand a bit, it seems like the thing she's releasing now has better and more interesting packaging. So that's, that's something, I guess. This was really cute. You know, I am so into matcha right now. I love matcha teas, I love matcha lattes, I love the scent of matcha. And right now, Profusion is having a matcha collection and people have been seeing these in Fred Meyers and it is called the Matcha Break Collection. It seems to be a color changing lip and cheek tint, some kind of a green highlighter, there is some lashes and glue, there is a, a 10 shade, palette for the eyes, I guess. And then there is a brush with a correcting powder. I think it's coming on their website as well. None of these products, I am not, okay. I'm not a person that needs to buy stuff because it fits like, oh my God, I love this so much, I need to buy it. It needs to be something that I am obsessed with. It needs to be something where I'm like, oh my, absolute. I love matcha, I don't need matcha makeup. This was World of Warcraft. This was League of Legends. I've already would have traveled to whatever state this picture is taken in. <laughs> I would already be halfway there trying to buy it. So I, I need it to be even more special for me to buy it. I just, I don't need a green highlighter. I have green highlight. If I'm looking for a green highlight, I have that. I love matcha, but I'd rather buy a matcha latte. I've been making my own matcha lattes as of late and it's been delightful. We do not have a ColourPop release really this week, but we do have is that they're releasing another shade of their soul body, um, like the glow oil. And this is a moonstone and it is, they released a promotional video. And honestly, if I showed you the promotional video, I might get demonetized because 
whoever came up with that has some very dirty thoughts or maybe I have dirty thoughts and maybe that's the problem but I do think it's a really cute color it is a more a slight like golden pink hue it looks really beautiful i already have one of these and i really actually like it i use it every now and then if i want to have glowy legs it's perfect if i want to have a glowy decolletage i don't need a million colors but if you are a little bit more fair light and you have a cool skin tone i think this color will be perfect for you let me just double check and see if there's anything new that's been revealed released that we should talk about let's look at trend mode and see if she has something Nope. I think that might be... Yeah, I think that might be everything. That's at least that's everything I want to talk about. Let me scooch back to the middle. I hope you're having an amazing Friday. I hope your weekend's going to be super, super good. Remember, if you are part of my membership tier two or tier three, all the information is going to be in the community tab where you can read about how to join in on the Zoom meeting. I'm getting a little bit oily, but that's fine. That's fine. I will have videos next week, hopefully per usual. There might even be a bonus video, but just know that I am out of town Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So the new makeup releases will be on Sunday instead of Friday. But yeah, have a great weekend and I will see you. Talk to you soon. Actually, psst, there's a bonus video tomorrow. Just so you know. Bye.